Uh, hello traders, uh, today is the 17th of uh, October 2010 and uh, happy trading week to you all. A new week will begin uh, tomorrow and uh, we wish you a very happy trading week. I have here the 4 hours chart of the Australian dollar, US dollar currency pair. As we all know, uh, the Fed intention to print more dollar uh, has uh, has put pressure on the dollar again, which means people are selling the dollar. Okay, so this currency pair, the Australian dollar, US dollar currency pair, uh, has gained a lot from uh, this uh, uh, bearish sentiment uh, towards the dollar. And uh, last Friday, uh, the, the, the Australian dollar reached exactly uh, one dollar, which will have a parity between the Australian dollar and um, uh, US dollar parity one U Australian dollar for one US dollar was achieved exactly uh, uh, last Friday. Okay, right there where my cursor is a very historical moment. Okay, in the market, you need to pay attention to that. It's a very significant level uh, where the, the Australian dollar achieved this, uh, the parity with the the, the the US dollar. Okay. But uh, I was uh, sending email to my TSTW24 traders some time before to look for opportunity to sell the Australian dollar, a US dollar currency pair. Uh, <laughs> just before the euro start the uptrend that has started uh, on the 10th of September uh, 2010, the uptrend that we experienced with the euro USD since the 10th of September 2010. We knew before uh, the market that uh, the euro supposed to go in the uptrend, okay? So we were sending email to uh, TSTW24 trader to tell them that the euro is going to go in the uptrend. Again, we were telling the TSTW24 traders to look for opportunity to sell the Australian dollar, US dollar for some time now. Even though the market continued the movement to the upside, that's what I call the conflict between the technical analysis and the market sentiment. The only reason why this Australian dollar uh, continued the movement to the upside or escape the bearish pressure is because the press, the, 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 the Fed intention to print more dollar, quantitative easing. That's the only reason why this currency pair has escaped, escaped uh, the, the bearish pressure, okay? We are looking now on the four-hour chart of the Australian dollar, US dollar currency pair, okay? For a healthy market, people should sell when they're supposed to sell and buy when they're supposed to buy. If you remember the tech uh, 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 debacle, so to put it simply, the, the problem that we have in 2000, in the year 2000, where people push the market to a level where it was no more sustainable, only to crash the whole market. People should learn to sell when they should sell, learn to buy when they should buy. To avoid a crash, we should continue to educate traders to know exactly when the market, market is overextended. This is very, very important. It's for the health of the market itself, we should be able to notice that this is it, the time to buy, the time to sell. Very, very important. And I will continue to talk about it. When the market is overextended, the smart money will pull out when the crowd continue to push it up. This is about the market sentiment against the technical analysis. That's why the Australian dollar, US dollar currency pair continue the movement to the upside. Looking at this uh, four-hour chart, our decision was not made on the four-hour chart. We were looking on the weekly chart, but I will show you the weekly chart here. I will do another video regarding that. As you can see on this four-hour chart, since the first of um, September 2010, this Australian dollar, US dollar currency pair was in the uptrend. Higher lows, higher highs. As you can see on this four-hour chart, it's clear, okay? It's just zooming to the upside nicely, okay? Following our trend line. Look at the trend line, okay? Pay attention to the trend line. And you see the price suddenly starts struggling here. That's where we start sending email <laughs> to our member to look for opportunity to sell this currency pair. As you can see here on this four-hour chart, looking at this uh, uh, trailer here, where I'm moving my uh, cursor here, pay attention carefully here. I hope it makes sense to you. 
suddenly the price was struggling it went below this uh, trend line here very important it's a very important trend line as you can see it was riding it nicely since the first of september you see it's a very excellent trend line okay but when we come to this level here you pay attention carefully here the momentum went down because the trend line is telling you the intensity of the momentum the price went switch from the upper side of the trend line to the downside of the trend line which means we have a, a low momentum the momentum has been reduced this is just pushing it up because of the speculation and the, the fed is going to print more dollar that's why we have this movement for here and my members as i told them to look for opportunity to sell as you can see is here a weakness a clear weakness since uh, the, 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 the the this uh, level here of from the the, the end of september okay since the end of uh, uh september even before that even before that we see this weakness here okay before the end of september we see the weakness here only to be confirmed by this downward movement and then you are in october now the price is below our major trend line here on the four hour chart this is the conflict between the market sentiment and the technical analysis as you can see clearly the momentum has completely uh, decreased okay it clearly because it went below this trend line struggle here first struggle here and then it went below it you see clearly yeah it touched it here it went back here here it couldn't even touch again here now we are below it we are below it, even though the price went up you see we are still below our trend line the trend line is telling you the sentiment this trend line is telling you the bullish sentiment it just tell you what was happening before within this trend line is the psychology of the market the trend line is telling you the psychology of the market okay this trend line the people who were buying in this trend line here that's how you will know clearly when the smart money is coming out of the market the trend line will tell you they they, they, they started this uh, trend here as you can see here the price went up nicely okay the smart money their psychology the footstep talking about the footstep of the smart money this is it this is the trend line as you can see you walking following the price means walking the full step of the smart money which is on this particular case on this four hour chart this trend line which i have here is the full step of the the, the the smart money as you can see since uh, the 26th of uh, september 2010 the smart money start pulling out of the australian dollar u.s dollar currency pair they start coming out you see because they, you see they come out they are out they are out all this movement they are out it does not mean that we should jump quickly and just sell this uh, uh, currency pair but we must uh, acknowledge this information here that the momentum is not exactly at the same level as it was before that the price is below the trend line that was supporting the uptrend so that we have a valid reason to look for opportunity to sell that's why we sent to our members uh, <laughs> nearly a month now to look only for opportunity to sell the australian dollar us dollar currency pair it's a valid reason to look for opportunity to sell okay so we know where we are now so we are still looking for opportunity to sell with the tstw24 trading system the swing 240 trading system the master key day trading system you must be busy looking for a clear cut a selling signal i hope you find this video useful that you will put into practice in order to cream the market consistently until the next time enjoy yourself and be very happy thank you